nice motors. It's a little warm. Not bad. To make this review short and sweet, these are the Race Day Quad 2205 2450KV motors. And I got these just because of the height. They're a little bit lower than the sunny skies, and I wanted to try a little higher KV on this super light um, helix, baby helix that I made. And I, I wasn't expecting much for $13, but they're little powerhouse motors. They got so much power out of such a small little motor. And they're, well, they're a beautiful looking motor. I love the, the color, the blue and the silver. I'll uh, put up some flight video on my first flight with them and I did a proper punch out and they did not disappoint. Uh, they are powerful. They feel it feels so peppy. So much more peppy than the the Sunny Sky 2205s I had on here. And so much more torquey too. I mean, they got more thrust, but they just they they have more torque. It feels more locked in. Everything you do is just is just better. And they're beautiful. Still loving this little thing, and I've crashed it good. And uh, this base plate has held up really well. I need to order another one just just to have on hand because I don't want to be without my little baby helix very long if I break it, which I will break it. The only thing I don't like about these motors is the three millimeter shaft, but you you can't I don't know if you can get a motor this light with a four millimeter shaft it's probably not possible these weigh 26 grams with the really they come with really long long wires I cut the wires short I didn't measure it after I cut the wires but I'm sure they're 25 or just under 25 grams so pretty light motor I'm sure they're made their brother hobby probably the same as the uh, Hyperlite 2205 that they sell, but uh, Race Day Quads is right here in Orlando, and I get them really freaking fast. If you have not seen race or bought anything from Race Day Quads, they have amazing fast shipping, customer service, great company to deal with. Oh, move my capacitor inside here, and move my beeper back here because that capacitor I had on the bottom of the arm, yeah, I flattened that. <laughs> I hit a tree with it or something, and it it was flat against the arm and it uh, busted out the top. So yeah, I moved it. I really I really think a capacitor helps a lot on any any quad to just make everything the ESCs run smoother. There's my wires on the back for the capacitor. Love it, my little baby. This video is running way longer than I expected.